Welcome to my morning talk show thing. I'm Kevin. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's uh, the same kind of show, same format. We just change the people around. We're going to have two guests, a little bit of games, and it's going to be a fun day. Uh, basically, I had three sips of beer today, and I am really messed up. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, see what happens now live is another show that we will not be talking about. Uh, uh, we're going to have game time about two subjects I like a lot. I like a lot. I like a lot. <laughs> Food and movies. So... When we come back, we're gonna have Betty with us. Kevin. I mean, Kevin. And my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. All right, and we're back. Here we go. My co hostess with the most is Betty Baston. Yay! Great to have you, sweetie. Thanks. Uh, anything important happen in our lives lately? Yeah, we just reached two years together. A two-year anniversary. Ooh, That's so cute. So cute. We would kiss right now, but she has lipstick on. He knows. Oh, I you're know great. now. You're so oh, great. This I'm is why. Two years deep, he understands uh, the makeup stuff. Yeah, we live together. <laughs> uh, we both have our own bathrooms. Yeah, uh, it's really cool. It's convenient. Uh, but we both have similar hair issues now uh, <laughs> yeah, i would say a lot of hair in this house what each uh toilet no not each toilet each bathtub is uh mm -hmm. clogged from hair at least once every three months yeah oh all yeah right which all is right. funny because when we lived together you know i it was happening very when often but i wasn't our bathroom, like it's... it was every month and a half <laughs> yeah. we literally had to double it <laughs> and it's still kind of bad so all right, so now that you We're know hearing. a lot of our hygiene issues, uh, should we get right into it? Yeah, I think so. All right, here we go. Uh, when we come back, we'll be introducing our first guest. All right, welcome back. Our first guest, here he goes, Patrick <laughs> McGew. I think I'll take it. Thank you. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. And Is after that right? a standing ovation. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. That was great. Uh, was that right? Did so you how do you pronounce your last name? Yeah, it's Maggio. Maggio. You were really Maggio. cool. Like, like Piquio yep. peppers. Sure. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect a, analogy. It's okay. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's cool. I'll so, just go on with it. So Patrick, <laughs> yes. what, do you, what do you do? Why, why are you here? Tell the people, bring the noise. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Summarize it for us. <laughs> I know it's hard, right? I know. Yeah. It is difficult, but um, I am an actor. I like to do, but it's just not. It's not the only thing I like to do. Well, yeah. Because I like to. I just like everything right? involved. Yeah. Huh. You know, building dog houses and stuff. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about a thing the other day, like a short film idea about a homeless person that had like. A little house like a coffin house yeah uh -huh. i was thinking the logistics of like okay you'd have to have like some kind of cart to be able to move this and you'd have yeah. to have brakes that are controllable from the inside it itself should have wheels and a motor yes okay yes yeah. or at, at least some type of gears to make it easier to move yeah hmm. and an emergency hmm. brake so you're an actor yes, and you sir. just finished a project yeah and uh what's this project about uh, it's called Dropouts, and it's about a, a, a group of college dropouts that are in a small town called Flatsburg, New York. And it's re basically, if you don't have a degree in this town, you're pretty much screwed. So you, then you're stuck as a dropout washing dishes or doing... So it follows this small what group. What about entrepreneurs? I, what about that entrepreneur? Right. What about the Bill Gateses? <laughs> We shot the pilot, and then there, it's obviously. it's gonna go to CAA, and then uh, there's a veteran literary agent. At what does CAA stand for? For all our uh, creative dumb artists dumb agency. Women. It's a big deal here. Something agency. Creative artist agency. Creative art. So it's only for the creatives. That's it. If you're not oh. creative. If yeah, you'd be bland. Although they do have <laughs> yeah. sports representation there, so. But they oh, have to be creative in their sports. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Like run you that, better box run that with... route in a creative fashion, Mister <laughs> Mister John Ace Winston. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Uh, he doesn't run right. routes. He's a quarterback. Yeah, so so yes. that's great. It is. Uh, I think so. Dropouts. So, I am excited so yeah. for the future success it's, of it. It's going so, to the veteran oh. literary agent at CAA, and then mm -hmm. it's going to go. He's taking it to HBO and Netflix. 
Yeah. HBO and Netflix. Yeah. So Hopefully both of them buy it. Double the money. Uh, <laughs> Aired on both. Works. That's great. I've yeah. heard that works a lot I'm for sure them. it will. Uh, uh, it would probably be the first show ever to be on both Netflix. That's how much it's wanted. <laughs> okay. that's, you know, we're, we're writing it in the, on the billboards. Yeah. Uh, so, right, cool. but that brings us, we've got a few still pictures from the shoot. If okay. If there's anything about these pictures that's vibrant uh that you could communicate that would help these folks well uh my character in the show is zany different oh it's very different uh if you know who brett michaels is yes brett michaels i loved rock of love as a youngster i watched brett michaels was your replacement for axel rose no, He's he was lead singer like of poison. Same, yeah, lead like singer they're the poison. same person. Same yeah. kind of guy. Yeah. Every rose has its thorn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My yeah. name is Axel Rose and I sing about roses. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And so yeah. he's a mixture between Brett Michaels and Michael Scott from The Office. All right. So huh. he he kind of morphed into that. They wanted him just to be very vain and very but I just thought that if you took him down a notch and made him arrogant, but also stupid but he doesn't understand he's stupid so that brings us to our next guest <laughs> yes uh, <laughs> wonderful uh we've yeah. got oh, and when we come back we'll have our next guest Woo! and we're back ah uh, wonderful <laughs> oh that's what i did ah cool so, our next guest is Jamie Gagnon. I think I'm saying that right. I think so, too, because we went through this. Right. It's not Gagnon. Did I say it right? It's pretty close. It's uh, The real way is Gagnon. Gagnon. I'm just saying Gagnon. Gagnon. lazy. Just not Gagnon. That's all that is. Just not Gagnon. 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 That's Gagnon. Is it French? It's like filet mignon. Filet mignon. Right. Because you are the very best. I think that's the best. That's wonderful. It's pretty good. Cut. That's great. Uh, so <laughs> you're a writer. Uh, yes. I am. Uh, what else? What else do you do? I am currently a writer's PA on Nine One One Season Three. Woo! Oh, that's cool. yeah, you, bo- you got us both work on that show, yeah. Season uh, Two. That used, was nice. I used to work on set um, the majority of the first season, and then all of second season until I left to be a writer's PA on Ratchet. Cool. The new Netflix show. It's rock and roll, man. Yeah. It is rock and roll. Yeah. And yeah. you technically moved up. You know, like you're oh, now yeah. in the writer's world. Now you're so, in the office. Hell yeah. Do you have air conditioning? Even <laughs> if you're getting sworn at by Ryan Murphy, you're fine. I do not. My yeah. my room does not you have You don't AC. have air conditioning. <laughs> and we oh, cannot have a... AC, which is You can't. Worse. No. It's against the rules. It's Except hot. we can't cut a hole in this wall. It's not it's not structurally safe. Uh, so yeah, you work you work on the nurse ratchet thing. That's wonderful. Uh but what I really like to showcase is your directorial skills. Yeah. Oh, no. Because uh, you did direct a little short that we put together last year called yes. Yurt. That is Yurt. correct. Yeah, Yurt. What an experience. Uh, so we're going to play just like a little clip rooney from Yurt. Uh, just anything about this uh, that you want to tell the folks? So one of the funniest written parodies of, of Johnny Cash's Hurt I've ever heard. It's like parodying Schindler's List. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, because why not? Like, not like really, I don't like not throw, throwing a girl no, in a red dress like over a cliff or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's horrible. But it was entertaining. Uh, so yeah. yeah. But the yurt is the yurt that that was created is nothing like that. There's a talking yurt. He's a nice and, yurt. Uh, yeah, I don't think it'd be played at a funeral. So that's good, pretty dope. I'm glad that it won't be played at a funeral. <laughs> Um, I mean, unless he's and yours. So here is. And here's the clip. I hurt myself today. Because I'm not a tent Conical dome and shape Sets me apart from tents Under the starry sky There we go. Uh, the year <laughs> talks, it sings. Blah, 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 blah. Men blah, blah, blah. make jokes blah, blah, blah. about being dead and I just like 
can't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm totally I would playing, think about it. I'm totally playing your at Kevin's funeral. No. Oh man, that'd be I just awesome. don't want to talk about the funeral at all. Okay, oh, we're, not, we're not making plans. That's incredible. I'm putting that <laughs> in my will. If Betty doesn't let me, I'm uh, putting that in my will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your will be played. It's not that it's not okay. So we don't need to discuss myself. it, guys. Yeah. Okay, sure. and we're all dying together in, in six years. And we're back. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so, yeah, Jamie, fun yurt stuff. Very good. Uh, that was great. It was really fun. Nobody died, and that's what's great. <laughs> I almost died. It was Jamie an experience. Jamie almost died. I almost got bit by a rattlesnake. Oh. oh. Woo. I almost oh, yeah, died. Oh, yeah, you almost did. Mm -hmm. All right. So. I almost died on the <laughs> trying to get my hybrid out of that ground. Remember the ground there when we were yeah. driving you to drive my car? Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's move on. And we also thought that my phone was lost in the desert, but it was underneath my seat. All right, and that brings us to game time! Game time! Game it's time. game time! It's oh, game time! Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh. It's right way, yeah, yeah. no! It's always upside down! Right 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 game time! Game time! And we're back! We're back! With game time! Uh, so today's game time, uh, it's going to be a little bit like last week's, uh, it's trivia. And I decided what are the two things I like and love and know most about, that was a horrible sentence. Uh, well, the answer is food and movies. So uh, every week or some weeks uh, in which I choose, we'll be playing food and movies. Uh, we've got a, our board here. Uh, Betty will help us keep track and uh, keep us honest. And I will be reading off the questions. Uh, we have six total questions. Whoever has the most points at the end. Uh, one is worth one point. Two is worth two points. And three is worth two and a half points. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the game. Uh, and here we go. Uh, who's, uh, whose birthday is later in the year? This is mine. When is it? No, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I thought that was the question. <laughs> oh, oh we <laughs> also need to discuss your buzzers. Uh, just okay. say your name. Okay. And uh, that'll be your buzzer. All right. No. So my name is May. May. June 25th. Okay. Oh, so you your birthday is later in the year. Right. Uh, dealer's choice. Uh, pick a category and I'll read you a question. Uh, I got to go movies. Go in movies. Movies for one, <laughs> two, or two and a half. Let's start with two. All right, two. He's got a, a whoopsie daisy over there. Uh, in the massive flop, John Connor, a man from the West, travels to this distant place. What is this place? Jamie. Jamie. I'm guessing it's Mars. That is correct. I was a little thrown off. Woo! That is two points. Wait. <laughs> Though, isn't it called John Carter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was sitting there. Yeah, I was, like, I was sitting there. I was like, John Carter. I wrote John Carter. <laughs> and He's I said John beer. Connor because I like the Terminator. Well, that's what I was. I, I was like, you. Terminator? Where did he go in the Terminator? What the? Well, <laughs> I think that it's great that you inferred correct. The, yeah. the correct answer. <laughs> All right. Patrick. Yes, sir. Pick your, pick your category. Uh, well, Try food for one point. Hey. Food for food one. For Here one. we go. Food for one, my life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is the general name for proteins found in wheat and barley which help food maintain shape and stick together? Think about it. What are Patrick. the group of pro... Patrick? Did you say group? Are they saccharides? It's, it's, it's wrong. And uh, Jamie, would you like to buzz in? Negative. Okay. Don't want to buzz in. Fair okay. enough. Uh, Patrick has negative one. <laughs> oh, shoot. So, I didn't know we could lose points. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was lovely. Uh, so right. it's uh, gluten. Gluten oh, is my the God. group of proteins gluten. that are responsible for food maintaining its shape found in wheat and barley. All right, Jamie. All right. Pick your next category. Uh, let's go food for two points. Food for two. Uh, here you go. Uh, what type of fish produces traditional caviar? It's so tense. Seafood, my only weakness. Uh, that would be it. <laughs> uh, so I don't know that sound. That was a great buzzer. Uh, <laughs> that's that's Jeopardy. Uh, it is. Right. It means time's up. 
Yeah. Uh, so uh, the correct answer is Beluga. Ah, Beluga. Right. Ah. Movies for one. So I'm movies for get one. Back trying to get back on track. Even ground. In the Sandlot, who signed the baseball that went over the fence? Patrick. And for bonus points, name all three aliases. Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. <sighs> Incorrect. Jamie, would you like to come in? What was the who signed the baseball that went over the fence? I have never seen this film. I'm gonna say Mickey Mantle. Oh, I don't know. Wrong. The correct answer is Babe Ruth. That makes more yeah. sense. And then the nicknames the for Bambino. Babe The Great Bambino, Bambino, the Sultan of Swat, the King of Crash, the Colossus of Clout, the Titan of Terror, the Great Bambino. <laughs> So, cool. we've got a tight race, one to zero. Uh, you know, last week wasn't better. Uh, the, the questions are hard because I write them. Movies. Movies. Number three movies worth two and a half points. In the Goonies, what flavor of ice cream does Sloth love? Jamie. Jamie. Rocky Road. Rocky Road is correct. <laughs> Great job. That's two and a half points in the win column. All right, game time. Okay, <laughs> Betty's going to be right back. <laughs> all right, and uh, Patrick, yes, sir. there's only one category left. All right, I'll take here it, it goes. for all the marbles. <clears throat> this vegetable, if consumed to extremes, can turn your skin orange. Patrick. Patrick. Carrots. Carrots is correct. For all the marbles, uh, I win. For two and a half <laughs> points, that is the final. And Patrick wins the game <laughs> with carrots. Strong oh, showing. Oh, woo. Okay, uh, and when we come back, we'll have prizes. <laughs> And we're back, and it's prize time. Woo! Patrick won. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Wonderful job. Mm -hmm. uh, mucha respect. Thank Coming you. in like last second with that win. Oh, <laughs> victory last minute is so yeah. sweet, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. Uh, for, I'm not used to it. I'm glad it was two and a half <laughs> points. Yes. Yeah. You need that half point. You needed that so half point. Fine. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you now. Uh, Jamie so, told me I came in. He said it's carrots, but I didn't. I didn't know the question. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was it was carrots. Uh, oh. So I always like it when you come into a house and you're like, it's carrots. Yeah, I think uh, so I think that's a good sign of respect. So our runners up prize uh, for Jamie is going to be the wonderful twenty five of the greatest polka hits. Uh, <gasps> it was advertised on TV at a point uh -oh. as Weird Al Yankovic's father yeah. featured. <laughs> Polka King movie we watched? I wonder if he's Frankie. on there. He is. Cool. He is. The Polka yes. King. Uh, <laughs> that's what they say on the 25 Greatest Hits. They say you have to have the Polka King. Obviously. Right. That's And kind of so, uh, Jamie, I don't care if you like it. Uh, Patrick, <laughs> uh, time for your grand prize. Oh, yeah. uh, it's pretty spectacular. I took it off my wall. Oh, After yes. I found it on the street, uh, <laughs> here is a painting. Yay. I love it. I here love that. Thank you so much. You just can't buy this way. kind of stuff. On <laughs> you just can't. Yep. <laughs> so uh, it is. It might have uh, something residual from the street. I uh, can't wait to see what happens, this is sir. Our wall? Oh, look! There's a needle back here. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, we had great games, great prizes, great guests, and uh, just a little bit about them. Uh, how could we follow you? Do you got any plugs? Instagram, Twitter? How do you edit? How do I know about you? Um, my SEO is straight guy on a wire everywhere. Guy on a wire. G U Y on a wire. SEO. No spaces. <gasps> so my oh search my engine gosh. optimization. Because your last name is a guy on. Oh! <laughs> that is why on. You're so close. So, uh, I yeah, once cool. wanted to call my company Gagged on a Stick. Oh, but you don't like gagged, right? Well, so. it, there's a lot more wrong with that than that. Yeah, <laughs> right. I like and, it. It's memorable. Patrick. So, yeah, I don't do a lot of social media, but I have Instagram and it's just me, Mr. P. 
Just okay. me, Mr. P. No spaces yeah. or diacritic marks? Uh, I think no umlauts? Just me, period, Mr. Period P. All right. Okay. I don't so know many a of couple of periods in there. <laughs> um, and Betty. Betty Bastin on all the things. That's Betty Bastin on all the things. Uh, follow my, my morning talk show on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, tits on my balls is me. <laughs> uh, remember, every episode sponsored by thebomb.com.com.com. Uh, fulltimeheadshots.com and badnewsdelivery.com. So if you need to change your wife, change your life, or change your face, you've come to the right place. Bye-bye. Till next time.